Hello and welcome to ADSR Pro with me, Mike Smith. This evening we're going to be doing a tutorial on creating Groove quantized templates from external hardware. Now, whether that could be um, an Akai MPC or a Roland TR808, a 909, or any sampler drum machine. Um, so basically we're gonna start with a MIDI track. So right click, add MIDI track. Click OK. Uh, I've created a two bar loop. If we double click this, create our MIDI part. Now I'm going to set my quantize value to 16th notes and we shall just pencil those in. Copy them across. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to assign this MIDI track to battery uh, just for ease of use for us. Obviously, if you've got an MPC or a, an external device, you will be doing this, this section of it within your external device. So as you can hear, I've assigned that to a hi-hat. Now the reason I've done that is because you want a noise that's got a really, really quick and sharp transient. Um, you'll see the reason for this um, in a minute. Um, the idea is the sharper the transient and the quicker the attack, the more precise our uh, hit points will be. So there you go, there's our hi-hat. Extremely boring on 16th notes. Now I'm gonna go to our quantize setup. Now I'm gonna apply a quantize that I already have of an MPC. Uh, we'll go MPC at 67%. Obviously, if you're doing this in your MPC, you know where your quantized values are, or your drum machine, you know, and apply this quantized to this 16th pattern. So if I click apply, there you go, you can hear that clearly. It has a lot of swing to it. Now, what I do here is to bounce it down as audio into Cubase. Now, if you were using a, let's just call this, MPC 60 export if you were using your MPC you could just record the audio in from that or your drum machine record the audio in of the hi-hat pattern just to get this within Cubase now that this is here we can double click the audio now on the hit points menu if we increase the sensitivity move a slider up until every note like so has a hit point marker now if we zoom in, now you can see there with it having such a sharp transient, the hit point marker has gone bang on the note. If we use something flabby like a kick or a, another noise with just a, not as quick as an attack or a, a sharp transient, then it wouldn't be quite as precise and you might have to go in and tweak this. So I would, I would find a hi-hat that's got a really, really sharp transient uh, just to make your life easier. So now that we've got this, and we've got our hit points on what we can do is make groove now what that's done in here has created our groove template within Cubase and that's effectively it obviously you know if you were doing numerous ones like I've done obviously you can see here I spent quite a lot of time doing doing a few different different things including the uh, logic ones uh, some vengeance loops uh, MPCs DX, TR808, 909. Um, so yeah, basically just click this, put it back to 16th notes. Let me just bring up my MIDI setup. Click auto apply. So that's now back to 16th notes. You would then in your MPC or drum machine apply the next quantize setting and just keep doing this procedure. Fair play, it does take a couple of hours, but for me the results are worthwhile because I use these quantize settings all the time. All the time. Yeah, I, I couldn't rate this enough. Yes, it took me a lot of time, but to be honest, it is it is worth it having that groove and swing in your loops and applying it. Again, if you've got favorite drum loops that you like, 
in my previous tutorial, um, I believe I've shown you how to get hit points from from previous uh, drum loops. And again, you can create that favorite favorite loop as a, a quantized setting. There you go. I've got a couple of vengeance ones in there that I particularly like. So that's pretty much it. Again, if you've got any questions, please feel free to contact me and uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Until next time, take care. Thank you.